Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech video. Today, we are gonna to talk about how you can automate all your Zoom recordings and put them on YouTube. Now, if you're like me and have a ton of Zoom meetings all day, there might be a couple team members that you wish could actually see a recording. Now, Zoom made this wonderfully difficult and charges a little bit too much money for me to buy an unlimited cloud storage account. So I set up an automation that will grab that cloud recording upload it to YouTube, upload it to your Slack so that you can send it to your team uh, so they can see whatever meeting you just had. So before we get started today, you're gonna need a Zapier account, you're gonna need a YouTube account, uh, a Google Drive account, and of course, a Zoom account. Um, and if you use Slack, a Slack account. So let's get into it. All right, so here is uh, the tutorial Zap here today. And we're gonna start off with a new Zoom recording. So you can do a new Zoom recording, a new meeting, a new registrant, but again, we're just gonna stick with a new Zoom recording. You pick your account, uh, that's me. And if you hold webinars, this would be really useful. Uh, but today we're just gonna talk about general meetings. So uh, yeah, you can select the meeting and then you test the trigger. So when you test this trigger, you get a ton of information. So you get the ID of the person who started the meeting, the host ID, uh, and a lot of other information. When you continue, uh, you'll see that you get all of the variables that Zoom provides you, right? All these variables uh, right here. And we're only gonna use a handful of them. Uh, the main one that we're gonna need is the download URL. So yeah, the download URL is super important because Zoom only holds your cloud recordings for seven days. Um, so after those seven days, your Zoom meeting is, is effectively gone. Um, so this app is going to make sure that you have it for much longer. So the second step here is going to be in Google Drive. So again, you grab your account and Google Drive has a lot of options. You can create folders and, and upload things, copy things, move things, search for things. Uh, but we're gonna keep it simple and just upload the file. So when we upload the file, you choose your account that you're gonna upload it to. Um, the folder, uh, you can make something specific. In our case, um, we're just going to use, let's see, my drive. Um, we're just gonna use the root folder here because um, it really doesn't matter where you put it. Uh, just know that all of your Zoom recordings will be copied and put you know, in this folder. So try to, try to keep it organized. Um, so this file here, a file can be uploaded, um, a file to be uploaded can be an actual file or a public URL. And that is the important part here because that's actually what we get from Zoom. So Zoom gives us that public download URL. Um, you can see that it's all the way down at the bottom. We can scroll and see it. And yeah, that recording files URL. And if you're quick, you'll just type download and then right, you can, you can just get it right here. So you can download the video file. If you wanted to do something like Zoom to blog posts, um, you'd be able to grab the audio file instead and you can do this exact same automation just with audio and maybe a different service instead of YouTube. Uh, but the point is still the same. So we'll upload the file to Google Drive and we're gonna name the file so it's Zoom and then I just put the start time. Um, you can also pick the topic. So in this case, I actually, I don't want the start time, I want the topic. And this was um, a, a real meeting that I had yesterday actually, uh, was workflow discovery. So we're gonna, we're gonna put that right there. And then the file extension. This is really important because when you're downloading a file from, uh, or uploading a file rather to Google Drive, it will just upload that file and it doesn't necessarily know what type of file it is. So uh, we're interested in making this a video and it is a video file. So for good measure, we'll just help Google Drive out, let them know it's an MP4 file, um, and that will make sure that the video is playable inside of Google Drive. Um, so we'll save that and go on to the next step here. Now the third step is going to be uploading the file actually to YouTube now. So YouTube 
does not have the ability to upload a file based on that downloaded URL. That's why we needed that step in the middle. So, right, let, let's just review really quick. Zoom is recording the file, Zoom's recording your meeting uh, and gives you a video download link. Then we need to download that video into Google Drive so that we actually have a video file that we can then send to YouTube to upload. So uh, again, YouTube gives you uh, one <laughs> option here, which is upload video. Uh, you grab your account and then we start to look at this. So the title is gonna be, you know, the, the topic um, in this case, the description I just have is the time. Uh, in the video file here um, is the Google Drive file from before. So you see how it says file exists but is not shown. That's because there's a hundred different file types that you could put in Google Drive, right? So Zapier makes it really simple. It's just a file. It's here. You know, Zapier doesn't know anything about it, but you, you know that it's there. Uh, so that's, that's the file upload right there. We always put our videos as unlisted. Now, the reason that we do that instead of private uh, is because the people in our Slack, some of them are, you know, full-blown team members, some are contractors, some are uh, just people that we want to keep in the loop with all the stuff that we're doing. So unlisted allows the video file to be, uh, to be viewed by people who are not necessarily logged in. Um, but at the same time, it's not publicly discoverable on YouTube. So we obviously wouldn't want that. Uh, so unlisted is our choice here. If you wanted to, you could add a publish date. Uh, maybe if you wanted like every week or something to for things to be published um, publicly, right? You'd be able to do it that way. And tags. Um, this is totally irrelevant for us in unlisted uh, unlisted videos. But if you wanted to tag your video that was going publicly, you would put those tags right here. Um, notify subscribers. Pretty self-explanatory. And then we can save and continue. Um, so then we would uh, test and review and we'll run this test. Fingers crossed it works. And there you go. So this video was just sent to YouTube right now. And one of the real benefits of doing it in an automation like this is that you don't need to wait for YouTube, right? You don't need to click next and go through all of the options that you have when you upload a normal video to YouTube. Instead, you can just say, hey, these are the, sh these are the simple options. This is the shortcut. You know, the, the robots can wait in line for the video to actually upload. It's not worthy of, of your time and attention. So after we upload the video to YouTube, keep in mind, this is step three, right? Step four is actually telling people that, hey, we uploaded a new video to YouTube. So we, we send a channel message um, and, you know, choose your account. And then in, in our case, we're gonna upload this to the tutorials, uh, tutorials channel on the X-Ray Slack. And we're gonna send it as a bot. And this is the message. Hey, we uploaded a new video to YouTube. Um, and we could add some other, you know, rich data about this too. So we could say uh, the topic is this, right? We can just say topic. And then we can say uh, Google Drive uh, link right? So that we can actually refer to it on Google Drive if for whatever reason you wanted to cut it into some funny GIFs or something or, or whatever. Um, and the one thing about this actually that is wonderfully unintuitive is in order to access the drive link of this file to actually go to it on Google Drive, it's called an alternate link. Took me far too long to figure that out. Um, so I'll save you the, the heartache. Uh, the alternate link is the link that you want to actually go to the file on Google Drive. So we'll do that. And then, of course, the uh, YouTube video is right there. And again, that is the play URL. Um, and just to explore a little bit, I'll show you some of the other options that you get on YouTube. So you do have the description, you have the title, you have an embed link. Uh, which could be really cool if you want to automatically embed a video on your website um, based on a Zoom recording for whatever reason or, or based on whatever trigger you want. Um, you can embed this YouTube video into your website or into um, some other tool if you wanted to. Um, even things like, well, 
yeah, uh, a couple other programs, but we won't get into that today. So you get you get uh, a pretty wide variety of stuff, and you even get the thumbnail URLs if you want, you know, the little icon uh, of what what uh, the thumbnail of the video is. So we're gonna send this as a bot. Yes, uh, we're gonna call it um, we're gonna call it Zoom Tuber because that's fun, and uh, we're just gonna use a robot face. We always want to include a link to the Zap. That's a key. Uh, key aspect of this, just in case for whatever reason something goes wrong or you want to edit it, uh, having the the link to the zap inside of the Slack message, um, letting you know that, hey, this thing happened is really a best practice. Um, we don't need to attach any image. Um, we don't want to expand links. Typically, I don't. Um, it's just not worth the uh, not worth the space you know, with all the messages and yeah, all these other things we don't really need. So we can go ahead and retest this. And there we go. So let's head on over to Slack and see if it worked. And here it is. So this is the YouTube video, um, the Google Drive link and uh, the link saying, hey, this came from Zapier. And, and you can see, you know, some other, some other links that we've had if you expand it, this is what it would look like. Um, so you would actually have um, the video itself here to uh, to see directly in line in uh, in Slack if you wanted to. And you know what? I kind of like that now that I <laughs> now that I see it. So I'm just gonna go back and flip this switch to on. Yes, and we'll save that and we'll test that one more time. Head back over to Slack. And there we go. Um, so that is the video uh, right there for workflow discovery. So now this th that that really concludes the tutorial about how to get your Zoom video um, up on YouTube and into your Slack so that no one needs to you know fill up their personal computer with uh, their Zoom recordings or you don't need to pay the five hundred whatever dollars it is on Zoom to uh, to have unlimited cloud storage. Um, but there's one step here that we didn't talk about today and uh, that this is gonna be a whole other video because it's it's more of a uh, automation infrastructure element um, and that's the activity log. So I'll just get into it very, very briefly. In Airtable, um, you have an activity log and every time any automation runs, just like you would you know, send an alert to Slack, you would want to update the activity log so that you can go back and actually see every automation that you have that's running. Um, if you're a beginner and you're just getting started, don't worry about having an activity log or, you know, that that's not the, uh, it's not gonna make or break your automations. But if you are planning on taking this a little bit more seriously, maybe you do it for work or maybe, you know, you have five, 10, 15 automations that uh, you're managing, um, an activity log is crucial. It really, really helps you debug what's going on and, and figure out um, what happened yesterday. Uh, you know, robots tend to work pretty quickly. So having an activity log of just showing all the things that happened will really help you um, as you get more complicated and in, in a more robust automation infrastructure. Thanks for watching today. Uh, links and resources are in the description down below. And as always, keep the flow.